Hi guys, I'm Chantal Best and I'm a student from the University of Houston downtown. For my children's literature assignment, I chose the book Growing Frogs by Vivian French. I chose this book because I think it's a great nonfiction narrative that tells a story while also going into detail and in explaining how the life cycle of a frog works. So let's get started. Growing Frogs by Vivian French. Once when I was little, my mom read me a story about a frog that grew bigger and bigger and bigger. Afterwards, mom asked me if I'd like to watch some real frogs growing. I know where there's a pond with lots of frog eggs in it. She said, we could bring some home. I was frightened. I didn't want any frogs jumping around getting bigger and bigger and bigger, I said. But mom gave me a hug. It's only a story, she said. Even when our frogs are grown up, they'll still be smaller than my hand. Oh, I said, okay. The next day we went to look at the pond. The water was dark brown and there was gray jelly stuff floating on the top. Yuck, I said. There's the frog spawn, said mom, and she pointed to the gray jelly stuff. I bet that was laid last Friday night. The frogs were croaking so loudly I couldn't get to sleep. You see the black dot in the middle of each jelly shell? said mom. That's going to grow into a tadpole. Where are the frogs? I asked. Tadpoles grow into frogs, she said. Little ones, no giant frogs here. Mom put some pond weed and some stones into a bag. She filled a bucket with pond water and then I scooped a little of the frog spawn into it. When we got home, we put everything into a big fish tank in the kitchen. The cat kept peering at it, so we had to put a wire net over the top. I counted 27 little black dots. Each dot was inside its own jelly shell. Every day when I woke up, I went straight downstairs to look at the frog spawn. The little dots grew into bigger dots, and then into tiny curls. And one morning, I saw the first tadpole wiggling out of its jelly shell. At first, the tadpoles didn't do much. They just stayed close to their jelly shells and nibbled at the pond weed. But after two or three days, they looked quite different. There were feathery things on their heads, and I could see their eyes. They swam very fast. Ten of the eggs didn't even hatch. The black dots went dull and cloudy, and Mom took them away. Then we cleaned out the tank and put in fresh pond weed and pond water. One of the tadpoles swam into my hand when I was putting a stone back. It was slippery and slithery and made me jump. After a while, I got used to having tadpoles, and I didn't look at them so often. When Mom told me their little feathery things had disappeared, I didn't believe her. But it was true. I was the one who saw the next change, though. Look, I shouted, and Mom rushed to see. Some of the tadpoles had grown two little bumps. Mom said the bumps would grow into back legs. They grew very quickly. One day there was two little bumps. The next day the bumps were stumps. The day after that they looked almost like real legs. And when the feet unfolded they were webbed like tiny brownish green fans. They aren't tadpoles anymore, I said. They're not quite frogs yet. The not-quite-frogs grew front legs next, and then their tails got shorter, and their mouths got wider. Now they're frogs, Mom said, baby ones. Soon the baby frogs were popping up and gulping at the surface of the water. One of them tried to climb into the stones, but it slid off. Mom said they were getting ready to leave the water. Grown-up frogs breathe air, she said. That's, why the stones are, that's what the stones are for so our frogs can climb out of the water and breathe. Not long after that, Mom said it was time to take our baby frogs back to live in the pond with all the other baby frogs. I was sorry to leave them, but Mom said we could come back and visit every day. One rainy morning, a week later, Mom woke me up very early. Hurry, she said, and we ran downstairs and out to the pond. There were hundreds of tiny frogs hopping over the grass. They're looking for dark, wet places to live, Mom said, but they won't go far, and in a couple of years, they'll be back to lay frog spawn of their own. Will they be bigger then, I asked. 
Just a little, said Mom. Good, I said. I like having frogs jumping around, getting bigger and bigger and bigger. The end. Thanks for watching.